To install Windows Photo Gallery and Movie Maker on your computer, we need to download it from the website. So we'll begin by opening up our web browser. I'm using Internet Explorer, but you can use any web browser that you choose. And we'll go to the address bar of the web browser and we'll type download.live.com download.live.com and we'll press the enter key on the keyboard and that will take us to the web page where we can download and install the software. On this web page you can get a lot of helpful information about the software but we're interested in what's shown at the bottom toward the bottom of the web page where you see it says download now. So we'll click once on download now and we'll be prompted with a message that asks us if we want to run or save this particular file. Now the way this works is that this very small file that it's asking us to, to download is actually just the installer. And so we don't need this file on our computer, so we're not going to save. Save would be actually saving the file to the PC. In this case though, all we need to do is run this file, and when it finishes downloading this very small file, it will guide us through the rest of the installation. So I click once on run. When we're finished downloading a file, it will likely prompt us to give permission to the computer to install the software. So we click once on yes to give it permission and the installer will begin. When the installer opens, it wants to know if we want to install the entire Windows Essentials suite or if we want to choose just certain pieces of software. If you wish, you can install the entire suite by clicking on install all of Windows Essentials or you can click choose the programs you want to install. Now in my case, I've already installed the software and you can see down below here that I already have uh, all, of, almost all the suite installed. Uh, so if you already have Photo Gallery Movie Maker, uh, it would list uh, those pieces of software right here as programs that you've already installed. If you have a previous version, it will say that these programs will be updated. If there is a piece of the software that you do not currently have installed, it will be listed under the heading of these programs will be installed and you can put a check mark next to any program that you'd like to install. In this case, you want to make sure that Photo Gallery and Movie Maker have a little check mark next to it if you don't already have it installed on your PC. And you're welcome, of course, to install any other piece of software uh, to go along with it that, that's available from that list. Once you've made sure that Photo Gallery and Movie Maker uh, are checked and, and they're installed as one single package, once that's checked, you can click on the Install button. If you receive a message like I have on my screen, go ahead and click OK. This installation process may take a number of minutes because what it's doing is it's downloading the files necessary for installing the software and it's installing it after that. When the installation process is complete, you can click the close button. We're also finished with the web page, so we can close that as well. And now all that's left is to find Windows Photo Gallery or Movie Maker and open them up. I am using Windows 8, and so to get to these programs that I've just installed in Windows 8, uh, I need to go to my start screen, and I can get there by just taking my arrow to the lower left hand corner. I put it the whole way down the corner and I can just left click one time and I'll find uh, if I've just installed them they will actually be on the far right side just like this uh, and I can move them anywhere I'd like so I would like to put them in uh, a section I have for entertainment and I can click one time on photo gallery and that would open it up if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista you would likely want to start in the start menu which is in the lower left hand corner of the screen uh, click once on start and the easiest way would be to simply start typing photo uh, or photo gallery in the instant search and you'll find that photo gallery would appear at the very top of your start menu and you can click on that once when you open the program you'll initially need to accept the terms and conditions so we click once on accept and Photo Gallery will launch. A sign-in window will appear. Uh, however, this is only really necessary if you want to upload pictures to online albums, and that's something that you can do later on. So for now, we'll click on Cancel, and we'll see that Photo Gallery has in fact opened. 
you should probably notice that uh, you already see a lot of your pictures in the gallery. So the pictures already appear there. Uh, and that's because this program simply reads from your My Pictures folder. So it doesn't have to make copies, you don't have to do anything to get your pictures into Photo Gallery as long as they're in your My Pictures folder. They'll automatically appear. There are a couple things that I would do to uh, set this up even just a little bit more. First thing I would do is if I look on this left column, this is the, uh, the navigation pane, and I'll see the My Pictures folder. Within that I have lots of other folders. And to expand that, I can click once on my pictures and that will expand, or there's a little triangle um, that I can click on and that collapses or expands that folder. And I can see the content of my my pictures folder is already there. So all I have to do is click on a folder and that folder of pictures appears in the gallery to the right. So the left column displays all the folders. Um, there are a couple other options though um, from which we can choose and I'm going to get to these by going to the file menu. In the file menu we'll click on options. In this options menu uh, there are a number of different settings that we can modify but really the most important ones for me are the navigation pane options and there's two options there it says show date taken and show descriptive tags. Now I'll click on each one of those. What that essentially does is below my folders it shows me date taken and descriptive tags. Uh, descriptive tags will save for another occasion, but the date taken simply allows you to view your pictures based on the date rather than the folder. So if you're not sure where a folder is located or you can't remember where your pictures are uh, in, in those folders, you can simply choose the year and you can choose the month and you can even choose a specific day that you took the picture and that will show you the pictures from those days. So you have the locations, which are your folders up above, and then you have down below the ability to search your pictures by the year, the month, or even the specific day. The key to this is recognizing that the dates are not locations. So you wouldn't want to go to a date and delete pictures unless you wanted to delete them from the location, which is the folder. So we only have one version of the picture, and it's in the folder, but the date allows us to simply view those pictures based on the date if we're not sure where the pictures are located in the My Pictures folder. Additionally, if your pictures, uh, if the thumbnails are very small like they are on my screen, uh, I might like to make them a little bit larger. And so I'd find this little plus sign in the lower right hand corner and every click I make on that will make these pictures just a bit bigger. So I can click on that a bunch of times or there's a little rectangle in the middle. Uh, this is a slider and I can drag that to the right to make the pictures larger or to the left to make them smaller. And so you can make them as large or as small as you would prefer. And now you are set with Photo Gallery. Uh, Movie Maker is also installed at the same time, so they're installed as a bundle. Feel free to check out the next tutorial, which will help you get started by importing your pictures. And then the following tutorial where we'll talk about managing photos that you already have on the computer.